Now, as you might know, long wall mining in soft rock and coal applications is known for decades. But this might be about to change, because Caterpillar here at the Mine Expo shows us something new. With me is Jens Steinberg from Caterpillar. Hello Jens, what do we have here on the display? Well, what we are presenting here is the Caterpillar Rock Straight system. And as you said, this is a long wall system for hard rock mining. And it's, it's built to actually make all the advantages of continuous mining of the long wall concept available to our customers in the hard rock industry. The request is really uh, in the market from a long time from the customers also in hard rock to provide something for them. Today, their challenge is the rock is too hard to be cut by conventional cutting machines. So their process obviously is drilling and blasting for that. That's a batch type process and comes with uh, a lot of limitations with regards to uh, productivity uh, and cost finally. And also they are looking for improvements on safety as well. So, you know, the answer to that is, is really make them continuous mining available for those customers. The key to that is actually cutting. Right? Once you are able to cut hard rock with a machine like this, then you can also apply the, the complete concept and the entire system. What is it that makes the machine actually cut hard rock? Right. How do you do it? So it's basically, you know, conventional cutting machines uh, are actually attacking the, the tensile strengths, or sorry, the compressive strengths of rock. What we have built here into this machine is what we call the activated undercutting process. So it's a combination of two technologies. So it's first is the undercutting, that means we, we attack uh, the rock from a side and just break the rock against its tensile strength, right? And tensile strength is only a fraction of the compressive strength. And we combine that undercutting actually with activation. That means basically um, each pick is making a movement so it's not constantly engaged with the rock. It's just coming like a hammer. It's hitting the rock and releasing a uh, part of that. So activated undercutting really uh, provides very good cutting efficiency. And actually the cutting forces are, are, are very much lower than they are with a conventional cutting machine. When I look at the cutting wheels, uh, what is the lifetime of the tees? Obviously that very much depends on the kind of rock that this machine is cutting. Very abrasive rock is more wear to the picks. But the big advantage of the uh, activated undercutting method that I described is really that it re reduces the pick wear very, very significantly and actually allows to use these kind of picks in, in a hard rock environment. So what are target applications for this um, system? So the, the target market for the rock straight system is basically underground uh, seam type hard rock deposits. And especially those that are very thin and low in height. So this machine can be operated from 2 meters down to 1.3 meters in height. So if you imagine uh, that customers are extracting this 1.3 meter deposits conventionally, how difficult the working conditions are because mechanization is really very difficult in, in this, this, this little height. So two options for the customers. He's either extracting and blasting some of the, the waste rock above or below the ore, just to have enough height for the vehicles and the equipment to work, or they really go back to pretty much manual work. So in many cases, you know, you have still, not in Europe, but in other countries, you have the miners still sitting on their knees uh, with a handheld drill, drilling the blast holes. So that's really where this machine comes into the play and it, it really makes a big difference there because instead of, you know, a lot of manual work of people right at the face, this machine is doing the job fully mechanized with a single operator in a safe cabin with air conditioning to it at the face end. It's a completely different story. How many systems of that kind do you have already in operation? It's just launched. Uh, we had a prototype system uh, validated underground but this is now just launched, it's a completely new system and looking forward to sell many into the mining industry in the future.